Good morning to you all on this nice bright Sunday morning midday. Anyhow, I'm going to put something up which I've learnt what the name of this telephone is. Now my thanks go to Grayson of Vintage Telephones who runs a very good uh, YouTube channel and shows many interesting phones and just by chance I happened to look on his um, site and he was talking about this particular phone so I thought ah now I know what it's called it appears it is called a Sculptura S-C-U-L-P-T-U-R-A Sculptura and it was brought out also the information from Grayson in 1977 he gave a very good description of this phone um, as I say I'm being lazy I'm not even going to open it up there is a picture of the phone opened up that he put up as well so we'll have a look at the base um, turn it around so we can see what it says It was quite interesting his talk and um, it certainly added to the interest in this particular phone. There's what you've got on there. I understand at one time if you had the phone through Bell, Bell would still own the receiver and transmitter but you and the rest which seems a bit funny but anyhow this one doesn't mention any, anything about this so it's probably a later one there's more labels there um, the Western Electric and the serial numbers this part point it out that is on a slider and that controls the loudness or the softness of the ringer or the bell. It's a bell ringer. I understand it's the same bell that's in, in the trem line. But as I say, I'm being crafty. I'm not taking this phone apart. Um, you've got your screws there, two there and two there, which I understand you'd undo those to split the case so you can get into it uh, the line cord would have obviously gone in there I, uh, for some unreason the line cord is not there I've probably got one upstairs but uh, it's not one at the moment quite a heavy phone actually show you what it's like I suppose in a way this was sort of similar to the genie which is a smaller version, but it's got that same type of um, handset and it fits in. They also call this the donut, obviously, because it was the shape of a donut. The dial, in this case, is the normally rotary dial with, as you can see, numbers and letters and you've got operator on zero also this one shows the bell symbol in the dial center which is also like Grayson's one has a, a brushed metal effect so it looked quite quite a nice looking phone uh, this one as you can probably see was originally white but don't worry sunshine has patternized that is that the word is that such a word anyhow it's changed the color a bit but as far as I'm concerned that is all part of it so okay it's white in places where it hasn't hit the sun and it's off white in other places 
you've got your little disc, a little um, number card there, and the cradle switch. The handset, I understand to get into that you'd unscrew the two caps and it splits once again in half. I haven't done that, I've left that as it is. As I say, I'm being crafty. I say, Grayson done a very good talk on, on this particular phone. And he also gave some pictures of the innards. It looks well made, actually. As I said before, it's quite a weighty job. So it's not going to skate all over the table when you dial it. It's a nice smooth dial. I would imagine it's a Western Electric style of dial. But um, yeah, also to aid taking the case off, you've got the two little Phillips type screws there as well. I understand you undo those. But no, not in this case, I'm not going to take it apart. Anyhow, once again, many thanks to Grayson who I appreciated his videos. I appreciate all, all of his videos. And say so he's got stuff I haven't got and probably vice versa. So it's always interesting to have a look and compare notes. And in this case, I cribbed the fact of the name and the information on it as well. So, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Oh yeah, and by the way, Andy Shed tonight should be, I say should be, it is, going to be on Odyssey. Odyssey is very similar, well I think it's similar, to YouTube. I joined Odyssey as well. Um, it makes it easier, well I say it makes it easier, to join in his little talks that he has on a Sunday so hopefully it'll, it'll all go well, unlike last week, which was a complete fiasco. This Sunday, 6.30, 7 o'clock, I think officially 6.30, should be on Odyssey. So tune in to Odyssey and you should be able to hear Andy. I don't know what he's going to be talking about. It'll always be interesting. So as I say, have a look at that. Also, I shall be giving a little video on an early cordless phone. I've mentioned it in the past. The first one I've got, well, at least said about that, the better. It was as dead as a door now. Having said it was a worker, it wasn't. I've picked up another one since which worker yeah okay it's very old when i say it's very old i was so i was quite surprised but more of that at the time it's not a hundred percent working but when you think of the age and how capacitors can dry out and how they might might clear i don't know but i've left it on it's uh, obviously the handset and the base station works fine. But it doesn't give ringing, so that might be due partly to the fact that I'm on Virgin, which um, I think can be a bit dodgy when it comes to um, incoming rings. Anyway, but more of that, when, when I put that up, it might be the next one I put up. I'm certainly put it up. It's one of the Panasonics. It's called an ESA phone. I can show you the date when it was bought. I was quite amazed. But when you think it goes back to the days of Mercury, it shouldn't be a surprise. Anyhow, I'm going to stop talking now. Look forward to Andy's talk. Hope it all goes well. Remember, Odyssey. Um, 
you'd get this on a normal computer tablet I don't know about these um, TVs that, are, that receive um, YouTube I haven't got one of those I've got an old TV it's an old um, Toshiba which is very very good so it hasn't got a lot of facilities on it that the new ones have but anyhow it should be possible to tune into it and see what Andy has to say. It'll be interesting. Well, say what you're all going to say because you've got a chance there to add your own comments. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you, Grayson, of Vintage Telephones. And, uh, yeah, this is the... Sculptura, Sculptura, also known as the Donut Phone. So thanks again. Thank you.